This is the second lecture that addresses the topic of how fluctuating wind speeds uh, acting upon wind farms can influence system frequency and system uh, frequency control. Last time uh, we uh, took a look at what causes frequency to change. We talked about frequency control and also examined how fluctuations in active power impact system frequency. And today we turn our focus on the wind farm and the properties within the wind farm that contribute to a further smoothening out of these fluctuations in wind. So the learning objectives that we have defined for this lecture are as follow. That is, a student that meets the learning objectives should be able to describe the properties of wind turbines, wind farms, and within the power system that limit the effect that short-term fluctuations wind have on system frequency. This includes explaining how the inertia of the individual wind turbines and its blades contributes to smoothing out the highest frequency components in the wind, explaining the effect of having uh, numerous wind turbines in wind farms and how that further contributes to smoothing out the active power output from the wind farms, and explaining why system inertia further limits the effect that short-term fluctuations in wind speed have on system frequency. If we start by obtaining some overview of the system properties that play a role here in smoothening out the effect of turbulent wind, then we can pinpoint first the inertia that we have within the wind turbines. That is, there's inertia of the generator and there's inertia in the blades. We will uh, address that in a short while. Another property is also the fact that we have a number of wind turbines in a wind farm. Uh, when we add up the output from these, we will see also in the following that that contributes to smoothing out the output from the wind farm. And then at last, the third properties is related to the system because the output from the wind farm goes into the system where we have also output from other generators and we have the system load. So any deviation uh, between the generation and the load needs to act up on the system inertia, which is large. And this is also, as we addressed in the previous lecture, uh, something that limits the impact of active power fluctuations when it comes to system frequency. But if we start with the, the inertia of the wind turbines and its role in smoothing out wind turbulence, well, then, because the generator and the blades uh, have a significant inertia, that then results in that the position of the generator and hence the blades won't change instantaneously. So that actually contributes to that the highest frequency components in the wind are smoothened out when we take a look at the active power output from the wind turbine. There is, though, another phenomena that can occur and cause some periodic interactions. These are the so-called 3P oscillations. They can be in the range from 0 0.65 to 1.5 Hz. And these are periodic oscillations due to a wind shear. That is, you can have different wind speeds when the blade is in its top position versus when it's in its bottom position. This is, however, not an issue for frequency or frequency control, it's rather a power quality issue and is addressed by other means. So the important point to notice here is that the inertia of the wind turbine and the blade contributes to a smoothing out of these highest frequency components in the wind, as we can see here by comparing these two plots. The other system properties, uh, system property that uh, plays a role here is uh, the number of wind turbines that we have in a wind farm. That is, uh, the variations of wind, they do not affect all of the wind turbines in a wind farm simultaneously. That is, there will be some time delay, and this is because there is a physical distance between the wind turbines. So this results in, if we take a look at the figure here, um, can see in the, the background that uh, we have one of the output for one of the, the wind turbines highlighted and then the others in the background. 
And we can see that at any instance of time, the average production from the wind turbine should be a pretty straight line. And this is also what we see as the output. It follows the kind of the average there. So this is the effect of having many uh, wind turbines. That's kind of this places the impact of the wind and results in a more even output than compared to the output from the individual wind turbine. We can also try to evaluate these observations by taking a look at simulation. So we have carried out a power factory simulation of this fluctuating wind, where the objective was to demonstrate the impact of short-term fluctuations of wind uh, on, on power system frequency and control. So here, a 70 megawatt wind farm was simulated, consisted of 28 wind turbines, 2.5 megawatt each. And then as input, real measurement of a turbulent wind measured at a, a, a wind farm location was used to, as input to the simulation. This wind farm was uh, located in a relatively small system, so the system model had a total generation capacity of 3.6 gigawatt where the total production at the time was approximately 2.5 gigawatts. And if we take a look at the results here, then here in the top figure we have the, in black and gray, uh, the wind that was applied to wind turbine 1 and wind turbine 4. So this is actually the same uh, wind that's applied to those machines, it's just shifted in time. You can see that this part has been shifted here. And in the background, we see uh, the wind for all the other wind turbines. They were also shifted in time. Here we see the output. We see that, the, as before, the highest frequency component has been filtered out. And in the background, we see the output from the other wind turbines. If we then take a look at the output from the wind farm, we can clearly see that the effect of having many wind turbines smoothens out, so we are not seeing uh, the same patterns as we have for the individual wind turbines. We kind of have a pattern that follows the average output of the wind turbines here in this plot. And then at last, given the system that uh, this power has been injected in, then this has very limited impact on, on the frequency. And in fact, this dip here, this was due to another phenomenon in, in the simulation and not related to those variations in active power injection that we see here. So these results, they correspond very well to our previous discussion about the system properties that smoothen out the fluctuations in wind. We can clearly see that the wind speed turbulence has been smoothened out when the output from the wind farm is examined. Now this was because of the inertia of the individual wind turbines on the plane that took care of the highest frequency components in the wind, and then a further smoothening out was achieved by having many wind turbines in the wind farms. So due to these very small variations in the wind, then the system frequency was practically not affected. After this lecture, you should be able to describe three system-related properties that contribute to the smoothing out of the sh uh, impact of the short-term fluctuations in wind speed. That is, this covers the inertia of the individual wind turbines on the blades. The fact that we have numerous wind turbines in a wind farm, that contributes to a further smoothening out of the total active uh, power output from the wind farm. And uh, the reason that we have a relatively high total inertia in the power system, which means that the fluctuations in power, active power injection, need to be, at first, of sufficiently low frequency in order to impact the frequency, and they need to have a relatively high magnitude. So, the general conclusion is that these three system-related properties result in that fluctuations, uh, particularly short-term fluctuations in wind, do not pose a problem to the system frequency and the control of the frequency in electric power systems. Thank you for your attention.